I got lucky recently and won this cash voucher in a raffle. Looking at it, I wonder what's stopping me from copying it and multiplying my luck. There's copies of everything these days. You really have to wonder what's real and what's not. Hi, this is Alex from the Rico Asia Pacific Customer Experience Center. Today we're going to take a look at security printing. Certain items like vouchers or examination scripts require mechanisms to prevent copying. When I think of the ways to secure prints, the first things that come to mind are barcodes and QR codes. However, these can still be easily copied with a photocopier. The Ricoh Pro 7200 series comes with a fifth station, allowing you to add an additional color on top of the standard four colors. We'll be using one of the fifth station colors, Invisible Red, to help us to further secure our prints. The Invisible Red toner appears colorless under normal lighting, but turns red under UV light. Let's go check it out! We have a PDF with Invisible Red set for security areas. This file will serve as a template for us to run our data in Fusion Pro VDP Creator, which is a plugin in Adobe Acrobat Pro, used for creating variable data prints. We will link this with a database that we have. After the data has been linked, the information will automatically appear in the template and we can check the preview to ensure that the information is correct. After this, we can compose a PDF file with the linked data to be sent for print. We can see that there's a separate page for each data entry. We can then easily send the file for print by dropping it into a set hot folder. This file is automatically imposed and now we have a print ready file. The operator loads up the paper into the vacuum feed large capacity tray which has been engineered to prevent double feeding. In Fiery Command Workstation, we select the paper and under Specialty Color, we check Apply Special Toner. And in this case, we set the toner limit to 70%. We then proceed to print the job. Once the prints are complete, we send it to the cutter for finishing and we have our vouchers ready. With me right now are two of the vouchers that we created. One of it is real, and the other one is a copy. Which do you think is real? A or B? Let's go take a look at it under UV lighting. As you can see, the real one has got areas that turn red, while the copy remains as it was. With this, we've come to the end of this episode. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you soon.